Hi, this video is about how to create wainscoting on Superboard. I'll be using the Superboard from Kitchen Cabinet. You may also use the one from the Wardrobe or System Cabinet. The steps are the same. So, let's say you have a Superboard now with a size 3000 and 2004. And then, I'll rotate it first and put it onto the wall. And now you want to draw some wainscoting on this Superboard. So there are two methods of doing this. Number one, you can use another superboard, change the size to the size of a wainscoting frame. So let's say it's 1,200 and 800. And then you press B for board selection. And then you right click panel point editing. We will be using a section here. Okay, you can choose the frame design here. Okay, let's say I will use this one. Okay, to make it into a frame, you will need to click on hollow out here. Now it become a frame, but the frame design is facing the floor, it's okay, we can just save and return. And then we can rotate here. Okay, so there you have it. And then you can continue to reposition it to the location you want. You may use X to rotate or you use the Z to move or you just input a dimension, it's up to you. There are many options. So let's say here I use Z to move. Okay, so when it's done you can just control V to copy. Okay. If you need to create a single line wainscoting, you can use a second method which is free modeling. The superboard will not show in free modeling, so before that we need to know the size and location of the superboard you're gonna draw on. Now enter free modeling and we can use auxiliary line to draft the superboard location first. Okay, because in free modeling the existing superboard will not show. Then we can draw a rectangle following the auxiliary and stretch out according to the board thickness. Group it and we can start drawing the wainscoting. For single wainscoting line, you can draw a line first. Okay. And then you click on Love Path Stick Out and trace the same line. Right click. Then you choose the design. Okay, you may then resize, rotate, or mirror it accordingly. Okay, this is for single line wainscoting. Next, for the frame design, you can use a rectangle. Okay, you then you click on the rectangle, love, love. Also choose a design. Okay, and then same thing, you can rotate, resize, or mirror the frame.
when it's all done then you can remove the super board reference so that it will not overlap with the existing one and also the rectangle and then you return so this is how to create wings cutting on super board please give us a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe happy trying bye